Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. I feel like playing The Sims 3 today, so we're going to explore the investigator profession. This game with The Sims 3 ambitions, but I never really played it as a kid and I'm feeling super sleuthy. So I think the best way to combat that is to spy on our neighbours for a while. I'm hoping this won't be as buggy as my other profession playthroughs because they have been quite bad, but let's jump into it. So we'll head to Twinbrook because that was the neighbourhood that ambitions came with. So I don't remember if Twinbrook is really buggy. It can't be as bad as Isla Paradiso because the playthrough I did there as a lifeguard was absolutely awful. Nobody turned up to the beach. I still posted it though, you know? Quantity over quality is the brand for this channel. So here's Twinbrook, very grey. Um, I don't remember it looking in this dull when I played it before, but the water is just grey. I'm going to call her Sarah de Sleuth. It's French, but I'm just going to randomise her because I can't really be bothered. Oh, Christ, you are the one. <laughs> you look so good. I might sort of her, but I kind of think she's perfect already. Just let all the stupid shit at the start of a new game get out of the way. I don't care about supernatural stuff. I do care about having furniture and I have none. I don't even have lights. <laughs> um, let me quickly fix this. What a shit life. How has she just got the decorated moodlet? She wants to join the investigator career. How do I do that? Someone please help. Do I go to the police department? Yeah. Let's turn your life around, Sarah, because at present, it's not going well, is it? Bless you. In a world where danger lies around every corner, an investigator sets their own rules. If your sim is up for the challenge, a life of intrigue awaits. To find work, scan a computer to search for cases online, or wait for a local to call your sim with a case. I can do this. I want logic. I want to read a book about logic. I want to go to the bookstore. <laughs> I don't want to enroll in university. Thank you very much. Where's the book? Store. <laughs> Why did I say it? Like that. Get a taxi, Sarah, you lazy bitch. You're going to be stalking the entire town. Get on your feet. I love how quickly everything loads. It's really nice. There we are. Oh, that's pretty cheap, actually. I didn't think I was going to be able to afford this. Now read your book. We're not here to make friends, so we won't talk to anyone we see. You, there's a bench right there. Where are you going? You're going to be weird, aren't you? You're going to sit right next to this guy. Dudley Racket. Oh, you do have... Excuse me, mascot. One, why have you made me go aerial view here? Two, I think I've just found my husband. Or long lost brother. We have very, very similar chins. Look at her. She knows what she's doing. You find me very mysterious reading a book on my own in town, don't you? I see you swiping right on Tinder. It's not going to work on me. I know you're keen. No, come back. I'm not playing it cool anymore. I'm putting my book away. I'm just going to quickly fall in love. And then we will actually do things related to our career. Let's make a baby with a beautiful chin and nose. Okay, I'm going to ask you out on a date. I want to get pregnant. I want to be pregnant for the entirety of this video. Where can I public woohoo? Where's the gym? Gym dates are a thing in real life, right? This isn't weird. Try for baby. Come on, Dudley. Oh, can I not get to it because it's a men's bathroom? What a waste of time. I've just sent him to the shower. I didn't get a baby. I just gave him a hint. Oh, sick tat though. I got fed up and we just went home. This is so unrelated to what I'm actually trying to do. And I'm pregnant. I better not get stuck on maternity leave though. I did not think about this. Great. My house looks worse than ever, but this will do me. Search for investigator case. Dudley, you better piss off. That is my computer. You saw me just put it there. Study at the Lakeside Community Library. That's a case. All right, I guess. I best get into my super sleuth clothes and get those butt cheeks hidden. Okay, now I look like the real deal. Let's get to the library. Can I study my own books? Because I bought a book today and I didn't really get past the first page. I was too busy trying to be a mum. I don't think this counts. Do I just read something here? All right, well, I read an entire book for nothing. I'm also about to have a little bit of morning sickness, but that's not a problem. What am I meant to do here? Do I have to do this on the computer? Have I just wasted all that time? Could you keep it down, please? This is a quiet place. I'll get another case. I'm sure that was something you could do, but I did not have the patience. This seems better, so my client, Patina Knack, has heard through the grapevine that I'm a certified cyberwiz. This may or may not be true, but I won't dissuade any clients from that somewhat truth. I should interview Patina about the job. Alright, Tina, I'm en route. Don't mind the sick dribbling down my chin. I did get pregnant yesterday, but I am a very serious woman. Go on then, tell me what's going on. Patina Nack wants me to hack into the local business bureau's database to clear up a slight credit mistransaction. Ethics aren't my department. I'll do the hacking and Patina will need to sleep at night. I just came from a fucking computer, Patina. Why don't you just text me? Fine, I'll go home. I'll have a computer there. Hack Cherish Curious's computer. I was able to hack into the creditor's database and swap a few ones with a few zeros. Nothing I did was too illegal, but my tracks are clear. They are always clear. I should report back to Patina now. Nah. That was pretty easy. Patina, I bet you had a computer. You could have let me use it. Have you seriously just been sat here doing fuck all this entire time? So Patina Nack didn't exactly take the news as I explained. Good, I can go shopping now, said Patina. I wanted to explain the benefits and virtues of a good, honest credit score, but that's not my line of work. I accepted my payment and said goodbye. Well, I guess I'll get another job. Oh, 
Don't mind, mate. Just topping out the taxi. You need to vomit a little bit. If anyone watching this does have a fear of vomiting, you're welcome. The mystery of the backwash toothbrush. This small fry, Parker Prudence, is convinced somebody is using the wrong toothbrush. More specifically, Parker's toothbrush. If the kid is willing to part with an allowance to pay me, oh well. I should ask him who might be doing this. This is a crock of shit. So far, I am unimpressed. He's in school. I guess I'll just wait outside of the school for him to leave, but that feels very weird. If I'm doing this, let's do it sleuthily. Yeah, there we go. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? Don't mind me, just waiting for a child to come out. That isn't my child, but I am a mum to be, so it's not weird. I've been waiting here for hours. Parker Prudence didn't offer me much. I should ask Phoenix Prudence about it to uncover the truth, or I could always bribe him to get the info I need. I'm asking Phoenix. Fuck you, I'm not paying you. No, just Got to vomit again, and then I'm, I'm on it. I am a professional woman of business, all right? You just got to get it up sometimes. What the fuck's going on with this toothbrush shit then? Maybe I should get friendly with Phoenix before attempting this again. Beat up for information. I have a sneaking suspicion. Oh, never mind. Suspicion confirmed. I was going to say that I'm not going to win. Getting stomped in a fight isn't just bad for your case. It's bad for business. Maybe it's time to hit the dojo. Yeah, here's 25 simoleons. No, do you know what? That really hurt. Here's 10. Oh, you dick. I'm glad you thought this was worth 10 simoleons, but it's definitely going to take more than that. Here's 50. The bribe didn't uncover much, though it did cost me a few simoleons. I should just report back to Parker Prudence so I stop wasting my time on this small fry stuff. Parker, are you still hanging out at school, you fucking nerd? <laughs> Go home. Oh, cripes. I've been had by this kid. Nobody really used the toothbrush. It's a sham. Parker Prudence figured I would dole out some bribe money so the case was made up. And I was called to empty my pockets. What's going on? I better watch out for this kid in the future. What was that music about? Uh, I've got pregnant. Sarah gets the next four work days off as maternity leave. Have I screwed myself over here? I'm still going to try and get another job. Oh, good. I can. I'm going to keep working until that little bastard pops right out of me. Rich Willoff needs to blackmail a local. I'm not sure why, but the client doesn't always explain these things. I should check with Rich to learn more about the case. Who am I attracted to? Oh, it's Rich. We have so much in common, I'd love to get to know you better. But we are nowhere near each other, so how have you done this? He must have seen my profile. My investigator's public profile. My private investigator's public profile. Right, Rich, I don't want to point out the irony here, but you are a doctor protesting against medicine. <laughs> um, I don't think you've grasped what you do for a career. Okay, everyone shut up, I'm trying to work. Rich Welloff just wants some dirt on Beverly Caster, but won't explain why. This job will make me feel dirtier than a week old sponge, but that's the job some days. I should inspect the mail and search through the garbage at Beverly Caster's home. All right, where do I have to go? Break into home? Yes. Um, I'll wait, actually. I'll let, <laughs> at least let this kid go in, and then I'll break it. Inspect mail for clues. All right, she didn't have that much mail. Let's hurry this up, shall we? All right, that's the mail. Let's check the trash. I mean, I know it makes sense to do this at night, but I kind of wish I could see. I didn't find anything incriminating in Beverly Caster's mailbox or garbage. Squeaky clean, if you ask me. I'll just have to report back to Rich Welloff and explain that if it's blackmail that's desired, it won't be found here. Hold on, I'm breaking in first. Ah, oh, I've lost the option. Oh, I've got a trophy from the city hall for blackmailing the citizens, apparently. Rich Welloff looked at me like a concerned animal with just a hint of rabid fascination. I'm not sure I was working for the right individual. I'll just take my money and call this case closed. I am calling a lot of things case closed when I've done fuck all, but I will take it. Let's collect my service award. I deserve it. It's quarter to five in the morning, but I'm here. Greetings, Sarah. It is my honour to reward you with the Investigator's Trophy of Honour in recognition of three cases solved. You are shaping up to be a fine investigator and the citizens of Twinbrook expect great things of you. They shouldn't. I guess I'll just keep getting jobs until I have my baby. This is more an experiment to see what the chin is going to look like after mine and Dudley's chins have mixed. Harwood Clay wants me to obtain some dirt on someone. I should check with him to learn more about the case. It feels very much like the last one, but I'll do it. That was a very short taxi. I could have walked. Howard Clay is convinced Analyzer Riddle is trying to hack into the public library's database. As a stalwart defender of public libraries, Howard Clay wants you to gather evidence by inspecting the mail and searching the trash at Annalisa Riddle's home. I've done this. <laughs> Give me something new. I'm breaking into home this time and I'm not going to let it stop me. Okay, so I know that these two are where I need to be, but where I really need to be is in someone's house without permission. Come on, sorry, you've got this. But let's pick up the pair, shall we? You've been here for hours. I'm in. Let's take a computer for evidence. I can't do that. Okay, I'll just press tape for evidence on the floor. Am I taking the rug? I think I'm taking the lamp. Let's keep stealing shit. Uh, I mean, taking evidence. Take the computer, not the chair. I guess it's a kind of nice chair. 
Can't steal any more today. Oh, you bastard. All right, well, I guess I'll do my rail job. Hmm. Looks like you found some pretty seedy information. You can talk to the sim and attempt to blackmail them for money, but it's frowned upon. I literally just stole a load of shit from that woman's house. I think we're past frowned upon. Turns out Howard's wild suspicions were correct. I found receipts for library hacking software and a modem specifically designed for library database infiltration. I should return this information to Howard Clay, or I should blackmail the fuck out of that guy. I don't know who it is, though. Maybe I can't, unless I know who it was. <laughs> Howard Clay was quite pleased when I presented the evidence of Analyzer Riddle's crime. That's what her name was. Case closed, assuming Howard Clay knows what to do with the evidence. Bill Rackett? Is this Dudley Rackett's brother? I'm going to cheat on Dudley real quick. Lovely stuff. Like, you don't have the same chin, so I'm fine that we didn't have a baby together. What is going on? I feel like I'm in some perfect romance film. All right, enough of that. Time for another job. Gala Ball is furious about a double cross that cannot be discussed over the phone. My services are needed, so I should investigate Gala Ball for the details so I can get to work. Gala, I'm on the way. Fast as fuck, but I am very heavily pregnant, so maybe not that fast. Gala, you look so good. I love the fact that you haven't loaded at all. Scout Sergeant hacked into Gala Ball's personal computer, stole some files, and used them to earn an ill-gotten promotion from work. Gala wants me to obtain evidence so that all wrongs can be righted. I should hack into Scout's computer. Break it into someone's house. House. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. You're not going to tell me who it is, are you? I'm going to have to find this person on my own. Why can't I just pay attention to things for more than two seconds? I don't remember the last name of this person. I guess I'll just individually go between every house and hopefully I find the sergeant house. I'm not going to lie. This is a big old piss take. One hour later. Sergeant, break into home. Fucking hell. I'm not asking for much, you know, just a little waypoint on the map so I know where I'm going. Okay, they're at the front door. This might be a little harder than I thought it was going to be. Analyze a riddle. Can I still... Oh, I can still blackmail her. Get here. I know what you've done. I can't remember what you've done, but I know it. Was it stealing library shit? I don't know. What good is a shady investigator without contacts to hit up for information and the money to grease the system's wheels? Thanks to your poor attempt at blackmailing, you've lost out on a bit of both. Screw you, I'm breaking into the house. Look at that. She does not give a shit. It's none of my business. It's none of my business. Here, this computer. If I go into the basement, they won't even know I'm in here. Look how sneaky I am with my phone just ringing constantly as I'm trying to sneak. Now would be a really good time for me to give birth. Scout Sergeant has the setup of a novice hacker. Nothing but a crummy firewall and a sloppy password protector barred my way. I took the files, left a few surprises and got out. I should report back to Gala Ball with the news. Gala Ball is still seething with rage, but my job was done to the letter. I collected payment and bid adieu to this cyberspace double cross. Well, I reckon I can get one more job in before I pop this baby out. A local writer, Mary Baker, called with a literary quandary. A favourite book has been stolen and it's up to me to locate it. Sounds like a solid case. I should start by asking Mary Baker about the potential suspects. Mary, it's time for you to wet the fuck up. 3am, I'm coming in. Margaret Kralik. Mary Baker is fairly choked up over the missing book. A bit too choked up if you ask me. It looks like I'll need to hit the streets a bit and ask around to see if anyone else has noticed the missing book. I did think that was going to say it looks like it's time to hit her, but I'll hit the streets. I guess I'll just head to the centre of town and wait for the day. You, first person I see. Have you seen this book? No, I don't recall seeing a book by that description. It sounds like a compelling read though. Oh, yes, sure does. <laughs> No, I don't recall seeing a book by that description. It sounds like a compelling read, though. I feel like that's too convenient. Why are you all saying the same thing? I'll ask her, but I will hang back because I feel like that music's copyrighted. Locals had a few sightings of the book. No, they didn't. The best tip I received was that it can be found in a place where people can read for free. I should snoop for clues there. I'm searching for clues, but I'm doing it outside in the grass. This reminds me of Bella went missing. I need to keep looking. Stop comparing human trafficking to when someone lost a book. Just as I suspected, the book was found at the library. It seems this case is closed once I return the book to Mary Baker. Wow, we are in the big leagues now. What, <laughs> what a great job that was. Mary, I found the book, you dizzy bitch. You left it at the library. It appears this case is far from over. Mary Baker was delighted to have the book back and paid me for my services, but now she wants to know who stole the book. I found the book at the library, so maybe a stakeout will render a clue as to who took the book in the first place. Back to the library, I guess. I just love how back and forth this is. Really fun. I'm a master of disguise. I don't even have... Okay, I do. I have very pixelated bushes covering me up. Nobody turned up during the stakeout, which means I'm back at square one. I should ask the bookstore owner if he knows anything about local thieves. Well, I guess I'm on the way. Oh, I was next door to it. All right. <laughs> the 
The bookstore owner looked at me like an absolute loon. Apparently the notion of book thieves is too hilarious to be remotely plausible. I feel like I'm being had. I should confront Mary Baker about this supposed book theft. If Mary's lying to me, she's getting smacked down. Mary, you need to get a life. You've been stood here for like 24 hours. Oh, cripes. Mary Baker used me as a source material for a new true crime novel. Mary got a bad case of writer's block, so a crime was set up and I was hired so that I could be observed in action. I'm humbled, but this portion of the royalty check will soon soothe my pride. Mary, you little fucker. I'm coming in. Oh, no, I'm not. The baby's coming. Make sure Sarah's at home or in the hospital so she can have a safe and comfortable birth. Okay, I did this before and I tried to stay out and she just drove herself to the hospital. So I'm going to do this at home alone. Now's not the best time for guests, actually. Phoenix, you punched me while I was pregnant. I am not talking to you. <laughs> I'm also more worried about how hungry I am than pushing a watermelon out of my body. Congratulations on a new baby girl. Sarah's pregnancy went well and she and the baby made it through smoothly. Let's call her Sleuthetta. Sleutheta to sleuth. Well, I guess the only thing left to do is to see what Sleutheta looks like as an adult. I'm pretty scared for this. Hey. Hey. How you doing? What did we do to her? <laughs> she came out exactly as I hoped. Ridiculous. Oh no, Sleutheta, are you okay? <laughs> what happened to my baby? <laughs> Afternoon. What can I do for you? I need to buy a gun. Oh, you're all right. You grew up. The chin is big. The nose is bigger. And the dress sense is awful. And I also forgot to move the camera, but I'm here now. But there we go. We managed to build a career and raise a beautiful child. So that was fun. But I do feel like that career is quite repetitive. So I'm glad that we had the baby when we did. And I'm very glad that we released the monstrosity onto the world. But thanks again for watching. I always appreciate it. If you want to get involved in the conversation, I do have a Discord that's linked in the bio. If you don't subscribe already, please do. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you then.